Ugh, this is all my fault. How? Rupert is such a loyal helper, and he must have been hurt when I picked you over him to rebuild my sleigh. You mean our super duper jet? But why did he destroy it? Especially at Christmas. Maybe blowing up the jet we built was a mistake. Yeah, right. He wanted to be the one to save the day. Guys, I found this in the fuel tank wreckage. Kablooey! Rupert had no idea how unstable it is. And now we're still stuck up here on the moon. No, Santa. There is still time for the Christmas miracle. But before we can have that, we need to set up a moon base camp. I've got just the thing. It even has its own oxygen supply. If there's one thing we know how to build, it's a flying machine. I'll start the plans. Good thing our spacesuits are working. With no atmosphere for cooling, the moon's surface could reach 250 degrees. Ugh, all this stuff looks like it crashed here. Except for that funny looking platform. And this old moon rover. Battery's dead. Solar charger, please. One thing about all that unfiltered sun, Solar cells recharge in no time. Hop in, we'll cover more ground this way. Rupert doesn't know how to deliver all those presents by himself. It'll be a year without Christmas. <sighs> we only found a junkyard full of old rocket parts. But look at this giant string of landing lights. No way to get off the moon, and it's only six hours until sunset in Samoa. And that's important because... Samoa is the first spot on Earth where the sun goes down. That means Christmas Eve arrives there first. JD, we need Mr. Edison. Merry Christmas, my young geniuses. It won't be so merry if we don't get Santa Claus off the moon. We're on the moon? I'm the luckiest scientist in the world! We need to build a spaceship out of old space junk and get back to Earth before Christmas Eve starts! Who is the world's greatest rocket scientist? Well, one of them is Werner von Braun, the leader of the NASA Moon Project. You should visit the Marshall Space Center, 1969. Toast, anyone? I am kind of hungry. Ugh. Mr. Von Braun, we need to get a used lunar landing module off the moon and back to Earth. Easy answer. Yay! You cannot. They are not designed for that. Aww. A moon rocket is made of interlocked sections designed to be used once and then tossed away, including most of its engines and rockets. When it reaches the moon, the only parts left are the command module, the service module, and the lunar module, which is the only section that lands. And when it returns to Earth, it leaves the bottom half behind. Those we have plenty of. Can we use the landing thrusters to lift off the moon? Sorry, no. They are designed to slow a descent but not strong enough to escape the moon's gravity. You would need three times the lift, and that means a much more powerful fuel. The fluey fuel! Thanks, Mr. Von Braun. Two hours until sundown, and it takes four days to get home. Santa, you need something to keep your mind off the deadline. 
take these lights, ugh, drive around in the rover, and spread them out in this sort of random pattern. Just because the Apollo astronauts needed four days to get back to Earth doesn't mean we do. They didn't have Kaflui fuel. As in the Kaflui fuels that blew up your last jet? We're using a better recipe. And now we have triple the thrusters and triple the lift. So, where'd you send Santa? Oh, uh, on a special secret mission. <laughs> That's everything, except the reindeer. Sivol's tiots dead, but that's what Nick has to go. Yes, the Super Duper Jet does all the work, but we still have to use reindeer. It's in their contract. Hurry! It takes eight minutes for light to reach the Earth from the moon, and we have to get there in ten! Five! Four! Three! Anyone else need to go to the bathroom? Kids, you're missing all of your Christmas plans. Your gift from Mr. Edison. Uh, and Sparkle Fest. I'm sorry. But think of all the other kids who will still have Christmas. That's way more important than being in some light show. It's showtime, people! Ready, reindeer? Earth. Maybe we'll make it after all. Sundown minus one minute. What's our first stop? I don't know. Rupert has the list. George Andromedus, age six. City of Pago Pago, capital of American Samoa. Wow! How do you just know that? The name's Santa Claus. It's over, Rupert. Hand over the keys to my sleigh, and we'll work this out later. No! I need to show you I can do this! After him, he's getting away! Even with Kaflui fuel, this thing isn't as fast as Rupert's super duper jet! Ho, 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 ho! There's always the reindeer. Rupert may think they're only for show, but they still guide my sleigh. And the reindeer answer to me! Reindeer override! I love it! I'm coming aboard, Rupert! Yes, Santa. Of course, Santa. Nikki, Merry Christmas. Thanks, Santa. Where have you been hiding this? Open it, Nikki. over a picture that has appeared on the moon. But what can it possibly mean? <laughs> well, look who's here. Merry Christmas, Santa! Rupert has something he wants to say to all of you. You could have ruined Christmas! I'm sorry. 
I only wanted to help, but I got carried away. But then again, it is Christmas. Think nothing of it. Let me tell you all the times I got carried away. The first time was when I got a new point out three seven chip, when I was listening to some Mozart when the phone rang. And... So, what about your gift for Thomas? Merry Christmas. It's a hologram relay. We left the other half on the moon. Mr. Edison, anytime you want to go back, just activate this. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. So next time you find yourself stuck on the moon, with Christmas Eve starting entirely too soon, remember that everything turned out all right. Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas to, to all, all and to all a good night. night. For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.